Well, the Council for Geoscience has confirmed uh, that uh, an earthquake uh, did occur last night in uh, the Western Cape at 90 minutes to 9. Uh, the South African seismograph uh, network registered it at a uh, preliminary 2.5. On the local magnitude scale, the council says that it does not seem to be related to the earthquake that uh, occurred at uh, 10 minutes past 7 off uh, the coast of South Africa. This earthquake registered 6.2 on the Richter scale. No tsunami warning has uh, been issued by the Indian Ocean a warning system. All right, we're now joined live by Dr. Gideon Grunewald, a geologist for Gift of uh, the Givers. Dr. Grunewald, thank you so very much uh, for joining us here on SAB. News. Good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to you. You're welcome. Just as a start, you know, we've uh, now heard that the Cape Town tremor isn't linked to uh, the offshore quake, which I suppose many of us on the surface would have sort of assumed uh, was the cause. The cause. Can you tell us in, in layman's terms, really, what actually happened and what was the cause of this tremor or quake? And I'm sure you'll give me uh, the correct uh, terminolo terminology there to use. Yeah, thank you. Um, first of all, I, I must make, uh, you know, I just tell your viewers that um, I'm not uh, the, the expert in, in, uh, in earthquakes. I'll be talking in general as a geologist. Yeah. Uh, the people with the mandate to talk about these things will be the uh, Council for Geosciences. But in general, uh, just in short, Antarctica bumped against South Africa about 300 million years ago. And um, that caused some fracking to happen or, or cracks in the earth that happened and those things are still active today because the Antarctic continent moved away to the south and so the earthquake that the the um, the geological survey of um, America recorded 6.2 uh, magnitude on the Richter scale. That was about 1,900 kilometers to the southeast uh, of, of South Africa, so about 1,000 kilos uh, east of, of Port Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And what I found on the Google Maps is a fracture zone that actually reaches from there until we reach Cape Town. So whether the quick Two quakes are part of the same uh, event, uh, I don't know. They are very closely linked in time. But what I can say is that 6.2 on the Richter scale, if that uh, magnitude hit Cape Town, we would have had a very sad story in Cape Town. Yeah. But uh, luckily for us, the, the quakes that hit Cape Town was only 2.5 and 2.3 on the Richter scale. And the only effect of these quakes will probably be the, the worst Worst it can be, according to the information we have, is that there's no tsunami warning. Yeah. So the only effect might be some rogue waves that uh, people who is on the beaches this afternoon and tomorrow must just watch out for waves that are not very high, but uh, carrying immense en energy mm. that will run up the the beaches, and and so people must just be a little bit on the on the lookout for these waves. But for the rest, we should be fine yeah. for the rest of the day and. and We'll see what happens. These might also be aftershocks of the of the main earthquake. We might experience a little bit few of them in the next ten days. But as I said, uh, the, the the detail will have we'll have to wait for the Council of Geoscience to to lead us in in what we must do for the rest of the next ten days in our lives. Mr. Kornovalt, you know, I was uh, listening to and uh, reading some uh, comments uh, by Cape Townians. I'm also looking here on uh, social media. You know, you'll see there some people saying it was using words like it was hectic it was a very big uh, shock and so forth and some people saying well oh, i actually didn't feel it uh can you tell us w w why would we have uh you know two completely different uh experiences and and you know it's really kind of divided uh, if i'm looking at, at at social media or is it just some people don't necessarily think it was as strong as it was or some people are exaggerating i mean how would you uh sort of explain these uh, different reactions one would think we you know we'd have a uniform reaction you know if you felt an earthquake but that's not uh, that's not necessarily the case here What what I, what we need to understand is earthquakes are affecting, or they 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 are actually caused by the earth moving. So if you have two two plates of the earth moving, remember the plate moves in where my hands are. Yeah. So you have 
say six to seven meters of the rocks that actually grind together. And if you live uh, by chance on that zone that it, that the crack is happening, then obviously you're in serious trouble because if it goes to your house, your house will be cut in two. Mm-hmm. If you live 10 kilos away from the crack, it's going to be less. And if you're 50 or 100 kilos away, you might not even know that there was an earthquake. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so people living in George and Eisner, if this zone that I picked up on the Google map only cuts past about, say, 100 kilometers south of Mossel Bay, but it hits Cape Point, then the people in Cape Town would know about the earthquake and the people in Georgia and Neisner wouldn't even have known that there was anything happening. And that is because these things are very localized along the zones that they actually happen. All right. Uh, just in closing, I know you did say um, that uh, there isn't a lot to, to, to worry about. There might be some rogue uh, waves, but I must say there are some people People who are worried, and you mentioned, listen, there's no tsunami that's coming, but there are people worried that there could be a tsunami. Can you allay those fears for Kryptonians who are worried that worse is coming or that a tsunami is coming? So there, sh- there isn't really at this point anything uh, to be too concerned about, is there, Dr. Kronewald? Well, unfortunately, I'm not a prophet. I won't know. But <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I think from what we know from the from the, uh, the, the American Geological Survey, they, their monitors actually look from the satellites at the waves on the sea. Mm-hmm. And they would definitely have warned us long ago if there was enough uh, wave action, energy action generated on the sea surface by this, uh, by this earthquake. Uh, in terms of the two in Cape Town, uh, they... They weren't very big, but um, it is unfortunate that if the plates of the earth, uh, because they move, all of them are connected. If they move, there is a slight chance. I won't say there's no chance. There's a slight chance that the, the, the plates underneath Cape Town might settle because of the ones moving, even if it's 2,000 kilos away. If you move a rock, a, a, a unit of rock, even 2,000 kilos away, then the rock in Cape Town will have to reset settle. So I'm not going to uh, say there won't be any further quakes. Uh, all I'm saying is that for now we can be safe, feel safe, because the, the warning systems in terms of earthquakes and especially in terms of tsunamis are quite well established and, and we haven't got any indication from any of our agencies that we have to be worried and for that reason I would say let's just relax and um, and, and uh, you know, just watch out when you're along the beach because that is where I'm a bit worried. Yeah. These uh, the, the waves on the water takes much longer to reach us than the waves in the rocks. And it might be that the waves hitting um, Strandfontein Road and, and Simonstown might, eat, might reach us uh, in the next 12 or 15 hours. And that is where my trouble is. It might be some rogue waves, not tsunamis, but a wave that is about one and a half to two meters high, but with immense energy. And those waves can be dangerous for people, but it will only be for the next 24 to 48 hours unless we get a warning from the American Geological Survey or our own people at the uh, Council for Geoscience and I'm sure they will immediately, they will uh, they will definitely call uh, the SABC and all the radio stations and warn us if there's anything unfortunately we cannot foresee another earthquake we won't know, it will hit us before we can even say puff. Okay, Dr. Kronovald, that was a very informative uh, input from you. We appreciate it so much here on uh, SABC News. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.